Hey guys, I'm gonna unbox this RX 6600 XT that I got from Best Buy. Alright guys, I got this all set up now. I got the Radon 6600 on and I also have a GTX 1660 Super. They're both connected to one server power supply with a breakout board and this is connected to a power meter. And we're getting about 31.8 mega hash using about 87 watts. And if you look at our previous video, I'll put a link here uh, in the description, but this definitely confirms that this was taking 115 watts, 30, 30 watts to the power supply and 84, I believe, to the GPU. So the additional wattage that we're seeing is about 70 watts. So let's see, let's move over to overclocks. Overclocks, you can see here using the AMD software, uh, 762, 1,210, 762, and for the max frequency, 2,210. Now, I do have Team Red Miner, and if you look at this software, this is showing uh, 31.5 mega hash at the GPU, the Radon, and it's showing about 55 watts. The software for performance is again showing 55 watts, but the meter is definitely showing, um, if you do math, showing 70 watts. If you look at the PCI meter, these are showing 42 to the GPU and 30 to the riser. In total, um, 72 watts right there. And just to recap on the wiring, this is connected to the breakout board. One cord is connected to a splitter to the to the um, 1660 Super. And another cord is going to a splitter to the PCI meter boxes to the GPU and riser. So there you go. Just so you guys know what the breakdown is. All right, guys, so I'm using the same overclocks for both cards still. And bottom side over here, it's showing Team Red Miner on Kapow, which is which is Ravencoin. And right now we're getting about 16.25 mega hash right now. So if we take a look at the meter box now, we're showing about 49 on the GPU and 36.7 on the riser. So that's a total of 85, no, 86 watts altogether. A total of 86 watts for the 16, I mean the 6600 XT on Ravencoin. That's the power consumption for this card using these overclocks. Now these may vary if you guys are looking to optimize this uh, overclocks, but this just gives you a general idea like what the over, what what is the wattage at these wires. Alright guys, so I switched this over to Auto Lycos, which is Ergo, and we're getting about to 62 mega hash. And when we look at the card itself, um, so we're getting about 41.5 to the GPU and 30 to the riser on the radon. 6600 now on the power meter since we have two gpus hooked up to this we're getting 183 watts now if you look at a previous video here um, if it's just the 1660 super it's usually 115 so this should equal that out let me do the math really quick 112 basically pretty much exactly what we had before off by three watts. So this is what we're getting with Auto Lycos. 30 watts to the riser, 41.5 to the GPU, 
and the software reports 53. Right, just a recap before I had a GTX 1660 Super as a controlled sample. In a previous video, I went over the wattage and hash rate for this. But for this video, I'm going to just go over the power consumption. And back then, I was using the HP power supply. And there's about 29 watts idle wattage being used at the power supply. On the 1660 Super, it was 86 watts. Now, when we start looking at the 6600, what I had done was I used that as a reference for controlled GPU to determine what the wall um, wattage is. And then from there, I was able to determine with the PC meter boxes what the wattage was at the GPU and risers for different coins for Ethereum, Ravencoin, and Ergo. Below is just some general information about the pricing at the time and the overclocks I had to use. Alright, thanks guys for watching. Leave any comments or questions down below in the comment section. And I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. Take care, guys.